Hey, alright, I, uh, I thought I'd let you in on some of my upper half exercises that I do in bed. Um, being in bed, being a quad, you're in bed a lot. So I don't like to just sit here and lay and watch TV or play on my phone. You know, it kings your neck and yeah, it's kind of pointless. So, you ready to see what I do? I keep this little set of hand weights. Um, they're always tucked, like right here by my hip. It's kind of funny because so I can put my arm here, here, and they're never in my way. But, all right, so, huh, I'm going to probably not talk too much while I do them. I'll let you see what I do because I've learned that while exercising and talking, holy crap, you'll see me panting in no time. But I do, like, three different sets. So I'll show you, um, I do, I like to go like this. I'll do, like, a good 10, 15 reps like this, and then I turn my hands like this so you do a different, you know, um, muscle, and then I also, I'll make them go flat. So then, besides doing this way, I will go up and down like this, you know, and I turn my hands the same way, you know, I'll go, whoops, I'm almost, you got to be careful because watch this. Oh crap, I was going to try not to smoke myself in the face. Hold on, that's my bad hand, so I know I've learned I always got to wiggle that one on first. Yeah, all I have is my tenodesis, you know, I got the hole in the hand, and, uh, but yeah, I'll get in, um, I like to say probably about 90 reps, you know, um, each way, each way I do, you know, you do like 30 like this, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do it all the way because you guys will get me panting, but you know, like I said, I flip my hands and you look at my biceps, I got some pretty strong biceps, you know, and then I also, I like to go up this way, you know, so like I said, I do three different sets each way. And then I'll flip them over too. After you do like 90 reps each way, um, holy crap, your arms will burn. You'll start to shake. Hopefully my nurse ain't giving you, giving you a shaky view. But that, yeah. It slipped a little there. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, just, you can get a good workout. Get your fucking, your, oh, sorry, I swore. Get your chest going, you know, and your heart rhythms up and your arms shaking. It, it feels real good. But now, besides using my hand weights, um, I learned, you know, like after sitting in your chair for so long, like your your muscles get squished and your spine gets squished. So up above me, I have my broomstick. I like to pull. I'll do like the deep breathing, you know, how they say to hold your, you know, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, you know. I'll... helps stretch my spine and then I've learned um I my knob job is on my left or my joystick and so I learned that I lean that way a lot so I like to pull over and I will just hook it with my one hand and then do your deep breathing you know your I sleep naked too so it's kind of nice you know I'll get my hands all dug into my rib cage and whatnot when I move over you know and then pull over a couple extra inches and I can actually feel it spread throughout my side. Are your arms getting sore, Tana? But, uh, all right, so, besides them, besides, you know, pulling on here, you know, I got these pegs up in my headboard, so they, I, I got a teddy bear legs we cut off and we put over top so it pads them. But I'll pull with that, too. Helps with repositioning, but it also helps with stretching the spine. You know, if you don't get yourself a broomstick. Whew, I'm running out of air here. All right, so now another thing that I like to do is I utilize my trapeze. I do, you can do 25 reps in no time. You know, I'll do it real quick for you. Well, you don't want to do them too quick all the time. Five, six, seven. You guys can count. I'll count in my head. But uh, after I do my reps, I like to wiggle my spine. Just give me a little movement in between the vertebrae, you know. But yeah, I, I'll do like between 75 and 150 reps a night, you know what I mean, besides just your little bit of pulling. And then uh, one other thing, where did my fish tool go? You seen this one on, you know, like how it helped with my, my bloating and my gas. I like to take this fish tool and I will dig it into my rib cage. It helps like loosen the muscles up in there. Oh, 
I can actually feel it just loosening, and you know, the again away from like your rib cage. I know that, um, I think, I believe, you know, that uh, being a quadriplegic, your quadriplegic belly, you know, is a little bit more protruded, you know, because your muscles along your rib cage get so tight. There's one more secret I'll tell you. I can't show you because you got to get naked for this one. But whether you're female or male, um, same thing with your back muscles, how they get tight sitting in your chair. Your front muscles do too since you're leaning forward. So if and when you're naked and you get a little bit of time on your own quadriplegics, I have learned that if I push my muscles like up under my boobs or men underneath your pecs or whatever, that you can literally feel you know, your muscles stretch, you know, and then to, um, you know, like with me pressing these up, I had forgot something, you know, when I lean over to the left, this whole side of me has gotten tight from leaning by my joystick. So I'll dig like my knuckles and whatnot, like into the side of my boob, you know, and just loosen all that up. You can actually really feel it. You know, I thought I just had more muscle in there since it was my left arm and it was strong, but, uh, nope, it's just all because of the tight muscles. But all right, I am running out of breath. My nurse's arms are going to probably be starting to shake like an earthquake pretty soon. And the cat ditched me because I'm moving around too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I hope that helps a little bit. I mean, instead of just sitting around in bed, I mean, look at these pipes. You know, I do a little bit of everything. I like to show them off. It looks really cool when I got, you know, barely a tank top on. But uh, yeah, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care.